Hello and oh! <laughs> Tried to do a little spin, but I was too close to my desk. Take two. <laughs> Hello and good morning! There we have it. Today is Thursday. I am just getting my day started. I came up here into my office to download some files from my editor. Those always take a little while, so when I know I've got files to download, I like to do that first and then kind of get my morning moving. I would say the last week and a half, I've been super busy because I was trying to get further ahead with my main channel videos and I'm also posting two videos a week right now. But in May, I'm gonna go back to one video a week, like guaranteed and still the occasional second video. And I've also gotten ahead on a lot of my filming because I filmed like every day last week. So now I'm like looking at my schedule for not just like today, tomorrow, the next day, but like, you know, kind of a week out from there. And it's pretty chill. I may be working like five or six hours a day each day, which is like less than I think I've ever worked on my channel in a long time, but cool. Awesome, I have like free time, leisurely time for myself, how fun. Today I probably have, a day, let's say six hours because I do have to edit a vlog. And then I have to like review some files from my editor. I need to schedule tomorrow's video. I need to, oh, I have an hour and a half conference call today with my person over at YouTube. So that's gonna be a long call. And uh, I've just got some other little like video planning outlining things to do, but nothing major, cool. Awesome. I also would like to go on a hike today and I've been hiking or, or walking or jogging, some variation of that every morning for the past week, which has been great. It's been a great habit to form. And I think the reason I've been able to stick with it is because I made it very attainable and flexible for me. So I think ideally in my brain, I'm like, oh, every day I'm gonna do this loop that I do that's like super steep uphill and is like relatively long. I think it's like three miles. But some days like I just, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do that big hill. I've shown you guys uh, a piece of that hill and it is steep. So I'm just not, I'm not making myself do it when I don't wanna do it. I know, crazy thought, but I also am not saying like, oh, okay, well, if I'm not gonna do that hike, then I'm just not gonna move my body at all today. So what I've been doing is I've either, like, I have like a scale. My like low impact movement exercise for the day is just taking Bella on a walk. And usually the walks are actually longer because I go slow, but I don't really do that many hills. I maybe walk for an hour and a half. We take our time, we stop and smell the flowers. And then like in the middle, I do that loop and that hike, but I don't run any of it. And then when I like really am feeling it and feeling pumped up, I do my loop and I try to jog like a third of it or a quarter of it. But giving myself that flexibility has been great. And I've been feeling just so good and energized from trying to prioritize that every day. And I think wearing my Apple Watch has helped. I've closed the rings on it, like the movement rings, every day since Steven fixed my watch. So, cool. All right, oh, actually, the file's just downloaded. So now, see, I have to download the file from my editor and then I have to upload the file once it's on my computer to YouTube. So the file downloaded, so now I can upload it. Also, back to the, the being busy and my schedule kind of finally thinning out. I feel like I'm so much better at vlogging when I'm not that busy. Cause if I'm just sitting at my desk working for nine hours straight, like that's kind of boring. Like no one wants to see that. But if I'm doing that for like, four or five hours a day, and then the rest of the time I get to do whatever I wanna do, that's like way more fun for you guys to watch. So I feel like I'm more inclined to vlog. So I would love, 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 love if uh, I could get to a point where that's like normal. That would be so cool, I'd love that. Also, how cute is my husband? Look what he left outside the, the master bedroom door today. He always gets up before me and this just made my day. That was so sweet. Thanks, Steven. Getting some dishes started. Steven washed some last night, so I'm gonna actually run it. Hello, my cute girls, Bella. That was the most defeated flop I've ever seen. Do you guys like the sunshine? Yeah, it's good, huh? All right, I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm gonna do like a little 10 minute tidy of uh, the kitchen. It's not like messy messy, but there's, you know, stuff. I'll put everything away, I'll wipe down the counter, I'll finish up the dishes that Steven started and uh, probably do the same for the living room. I, I like that we've been keeping the house like consistently clean and organized versus just letting everything kind of pile up and then doing one big cleaning day. I feel like we've been doing these little 10 minute tidies like every day or at least every other day. So it's it's been nice, I wanna keep up with it. Delicious. So since I'm not filming anything for the main channel today, I'm kind of thinking I'll take a, like a normal shower and wash my hair, but not like wash it, co-wash it like I usually do. But I kind of want to 
gonna try letting my hair just air dry with absolutely no product and no styling and see just what my naked natural hair is like right now because I haven't done that since before I started the curly girl method I always at least put a little bit of product in it or I put it up in a bun like I really don't know what just my normal natural hair would look like so that could be fun let's try that I'll have some breakfast I'll uh, scroll through TikTok on the couch I'm making TikToks again by the way I made a couple yesterday and then uh, I'll go shower and we'll see what my hair looks like with absolutely no product no styling I'm very interested to see all right, let's shower. Let's uh, find out what naturally lies beneath this. <laughs> All right, I'm fresh out of the shower. I'm gonna brush out my hair and then, uh, do I even need to plop? Usually I plop my hair up in either a microfiber towel or just a t-shirt to let it kind of dry a little bit and let the product soak in. But if there's no product in my hair, do I need to plop? That's the question. Maybe I'll still do it just to like get some of the wetness out of my hair, help it dry a little bit faster, or maybe I'll just scrunch some of it out. This is gonna be very interesting. I honestly have no idea what it's gonna look like. If I had to guess, I think it's gonna be very frizzy. Like I don't think the hair is gonna clump as much as it does when I put in product. And that's how I get like the more formed curls and waves is by the hair clumping together, which I think it's gonna be too frizzy to do that. But I still think that the natural curl and wave in my hair has come out so much more over the past few months. So how is it gonna show then? I honestly don't know, but we will find out. Hello, it is now about one o'clock. I'm pretty much, I would say three quarters of the way done editing this vlog. Well, not this vlog, but this vlog on the computer screen in front of me. I haven't looked at my hair until literally just now when I open the camera. It's like, uh, I, the back is like so pretty wet, but the front's dry. This is so weird. Okay, so the front pieces hardly are even like wavy in some places. So, like this, this, I guess it's like a wave up here and a little bit of a curl, but like look at this piece. This just looks like a straight piece of hair, but then under Look at these curls. These look, like this literally looks like I have a ton of product in it or I used a curling iron. Same with some of the ones down here, but then some of the pieces are just like, they're not even curly or wavy. They're just like, like what is this? Who, this, this is what I thought, honestly, my whole head was gonna look like. Kinda scraggly, not very curly or wavy. The pieces of hair don't wanna clump together, but, I would say that's maybe only half my head and the other half looks really actually better than I thought. But we'll see, we'll see. We gotta wait until it's fully dry. I have my conference call at 2.30, so I should have plenty of time to finish editing this vlog. But um, this vlog that I'm editing is the vlog where I talk about how I'm starting to track my ovulation again. If you guys missed that vlog, I'll put a card for it right here. But um, at the end of the vlog, we did a massive cleaning montage, which usually when I put the footage like on my computer or send it to my editor, it's maybe about 40 minutes minutes of footage that ends up being like a 30 minute vlog or 30 minutes of footage in like a 20 minute vlog, something like that. Like not that much footage is cut out, but because there are so many time lapses, there was two and a half hours of footage for this vlog. So this vlog actually might take me longer than I'm estimating right now to finish up because I have to, you know, edit those montages and sync it to music and all of that. But I, I really like editing montages. It's kind of like my favorite thing. I just think they're so fun. So I definitely don't mind at all. Um, I checked everything else off my to-do list. So if I finish editing this vlog before the conference call, which I think I'll have more than enough time, and then my conference call is from 2.30 to 4.30, that means that I'm gonna be done with my day at 4.30. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Standing 
desk. I, I wonder how many of you guys actually knew that my desk was a standing desk because I feel like I never show that. But I really like it. I really like being able to adjust it and I have like four different settings on here so I don't have to like tinker with it every time I want to move it. I just press the setting I want and it's perfect for my height and it's gonna help me make sure I close all my Apple Watch rings. So it's 2.06, I just finished the blog and it is exporting, which means I have about 20 minutes until my meeting for lunch. And that's not really enough time to like make, make anything, but you know what I do have is yesterday I got a delivery from Daily Harvest and I finished filming like using them for the main channel video, but I actually really liked the bowls, especially for situations like this where I just need something quick and easy, but I still want it to be like filling and healthy. So I decided I'm gonna get one box of nine items delivered probably about every three to four weeks That way I'm not like only eating, you know frozen daily harvest meals But I have them for situations when I need something quick. So what do we want to make today? That's the question we have an artichoke and spinach flatbread and a bunch of bowls. All the bowls I got are the high protein options and this flatbread looked really, really good even though it wasn't part of the like high protein area of the website. I thought it'd be good to try one of these, but I think today we've got Brussels sprouts. Oh, I think I wanna make this. This is the sweet potato and wild rice hash. I had this as part of the video and it was really good. So I already know I like it. No mysteries here, let's eat. Hey baby, I love you. Aw, vlog caught that. <laughs> You're cute. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> no, I love, I love you. How's your day? Good, work's been productive. Good. I'm uh, chugging along. Good. And I'm looking for a small snack. <gasps> oh. I just remembered. My last little snack. Ooh. Hi, Buffer CC can't get it. The last Chewy, Chewy Bar. bar. <laughs> Chewy S'mores, the one and only. Nice. Tried and true. I haven't had those since I was like in middle school. Ta-da, lunch in four minutes. Do you still want to have our date night tonight? Remember we had planned that like three days ago? Yes, let's do it. Yeah, movie, tango. jacuzzi, and I'll make dinner. Plan? Let's tango. I think I'm going to be done with work at like 4.30 today. Isn't that incredible? So here's the thing, Steven. I feel like a little tickle in my throat, and I'm sure it's nothing, but just to be safe, I feel like we maybe shouldn't go walk. But it is very hot and very dry, but just out of an abundance of precaution, let's just do a home workout. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. We could do a five, six, seven Broadway class. What would it take for you to do that with me? I would have a lot of fun hearing you do that. Okay, I'll plan a little circuit for us to do. All right. Arms, legs, and abs. Sound um, good? On more exciting news, Ooh. what's the plan for dinner? Um, I've got a couple of things. I can do Brussels sprouts. We could do pasta. We could do, we're, we're starting to run a little bit low yeah. on food, but I have one more sweet potato, so I can we do some, some sort of veggie. We, oh, let's do personal pizzas. We could do that. That's so fun for date night. That's perfect. That would be pretty fun. Personal right. pizzas. I have to go back up. Okay, all right, have and a good love day. You. Love you, enjoy the rest of your work day. All right, it is just about 5.30 and I am fully done with my work for the day. I ended up finishing up my conference call around I think 4.40 and then I had to schedule tomorrow's vlog and that is all good to go. So let's talk about my hair because it is fully dry now and as is just kind of hanging like this, it very much looks like uh, early Hermione hair. <laughs> It's like poofy and fluffy and you can tell that there's some like curl or wave or texture to it But it can't form curls or waves. It's just like poofy and frizzy and not my favorite But when I pull this back and this back The under layer is these beautiful like soft beachy waves and curls like I feel like this bottom layer, if my whole head looked like this, I'd like never use hair product. <laughs> like it's really pretty and I really like it. And overall it's a lot less curly, but there still are some formed curls under here. I think what 
bothers me the most is how the ends are so straight and I know that's because they're super dead and the only way to get rid of that is to either chop my hair off or wait for the damage to grow out and then chop it but then I actually don't mind the length because I've grown it out if that makes sense. When I was in high school and even middle school and I was trying to navigate having hair like this, I actually wore it half up like almost I would say like 95% of the time like that was my hairstyle for like five years growing up was I would let my hair naturally air dry I would put in a little bit of product or sometimes none at all and I would take the ugly top layer pull it back do a little high pony and I still really like this look and I actually did this a lot when I first cut my hair and I did it a lot when I was straightening my hair and I would do like the little half updo with the top knot the little bun dogs are chasing each other around the kitchen Bruiser are you starting fights <laughs> are you hyper <laughs> Bella she's exasperating isn't she <laughs> Anyways, I used to wear my hair half up like that a lot and I still do from time to time But since the top layer has started to look better I've been just wearing it fully down more and I do think this top layer like really is what benefits from me Using product and styling because it takes it from this to looking like the under part of my hair But honestly if I kind of just fluff this up and do like a not part part it hides it a little bit better I think, maybe. So yeah, here is what my hair naturally looks like with no product, no styling. Genuinely surprised by how good the under layer looks. And uh, the top layer is exactly what I expected, honestly. Okay, I need to give these dogs some attention. <laughs> you are bouncing off the walls, my goodness, little girl. Hi, hi, yes, hi to you, you guys. All right, let's go inside, come on, come on. We're going outside. We're going outside. Go, 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 go. Oh no, now they're gonna go bark at the neighbor dog. Do you guys get all your barking out? Get all your hyperness out? I'm kind of thinking tomorrow, pool day, maybe? It's supposed to be like 80 degrees tomorrow, which is definitely the hottest day we've had since we moved in. I don't think it's nearly as cold now. No, not at all. Now that the pool's just like, it's it's chilly, but it's not cold. Like I would jump in the pool and I'd be like, oh, that's kind of cold. But once I started swimming around, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm hoping it would be enjoyable. So tomorrow's another day where I don't have a full like day planned of work stuff. So I'm kind of thinking I knock all of my work stuff out in the morning. Like I get up pretty early, grind it all out, and then maybe try to be done by like two o'clock and have myself a little pool tanning day. I think that'd be super fun. And I am so pale right now. <laughs> I am not getting like any sunshine these days. So I think, especially because on Saturday and Sunday, it's supposed to go down to I think like 72. So still pretty warm, but tomorrow's definitely gonna be the warmest day. So if I can fit that in, that would be super fun. And I will definitely, definitely vlog it for you guys if I do. So here is the outfit that I have been wearing all day today, but I'm actually gonna change out of it now and say goodbye to my natural hair because I'm putting it up in a bun. And uh, I'm gonna get started on this workout. I think Steven's gonna join me after a little bit. I'm gonna get started without him because he has quite a bit more work to do and is running a little behind schedule. So he told me to get started on my own and then he'll come join. But a uh, magic change, ready? Ta-da! All right, I am ready to work out. I'm gonna put on my shoes, put on a headband to keep the hair out of my face, and uh, we'll be rocking and rolling. Let's do this. <sighs> All right, workout, check. <laughs> very nice, very nice. That's nice, you missed arms, but. I'll live. <laughs> we did 50, mi 50 minutes. I actually kind of want to jump in the pool right now. If there is ever a time to do it right now when I'm super hot. You're not wrong. Would you do it with me? I'd probably watch, maybe dip my toes in. Eh, I'll wait for the jacuzzi tonight. Pizza night! I'm so excited. It's been. Is that too much or too little? Uh, that's a little bit more than that is what I do. Because you have to brush it. All right, so we are making personal pizzas. We have these two, uh, like, individual pizza breads. And they come in a two pack, so it's literally perfect. I am chopping some onion. On mine, I just like pizza sauce, mozzarella, onion, and garlic, but we're all out of garlic because I use a lot of garlic. I know, the garlic's really good. You can also know when we're running out of groceries when it's pizza night. Yep. <laughs> we always get one batch. 
And that's like our... Uh, generally, it's like, oh, well, we're out of everything else. Want to have some pizza? It's like ordering pizza, but cheaper and better. I like a lot of sauce and not too much cheese. More sauce? A little more sauce. That's good. It's hard to get the right balance of you cheese. Always... Oh, oh. Gentlemen Excuse. first, so ladies first. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I think since I can't have garlic on this one, I'm going to put onion under the cheese. Never too much onion and you turn into an ogre. <laughs> Onions have layers. <laughs> Ogres have layers. We should watch Shrek tonight. No. What do you want to watch? I don't like rewatching movies. It's just not a passion Shrek project. Shrek is right. a classic. Okay, what do you want to watch? Time is valuable. It must be spent. Ooh, Office. Oh. I got some backup. Sierra's not digging the first season of The Office. Okay, so Steven and I, I'm watching The Office for the first time. Steven's rewatching it. He watched it all the way through once. I just don't think it's that funny. The first season, they're trying to figure those out. The characters are incredibly one note. Like, they give are. me some depth. They are. And right now, Steve's note is just, like, offensive note, but it gets better. It's just... It gets, it gets flushed out. Okay, so that's what you said, and then I asked Kenzie, and she goes, oh, yeah, it gets better after the first season. What do you not like about it? And I was like, well, the characters are just really one note. And she goes, well, then it's not going to get better, because that's <laughs> just what The Office is. <laughs> I laugh a little bit, but I'd rather watch Friends. Do you think ricotta cheese would be a lot special? I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to say anything because this is your pizza. This is why it's personal pizzas. Well, also we should do pizzas at the beginning when the fridge is full because it's like, ooh, let's try some of that, some of this. That's true. We I, were down... it, I got ricotta and pepperoni. <laughs> at least you have pepperoni. There's a bell pepper in there, but we're out of mushrooms, which is my favorite thing in the world. What's in here? I can put it You're pan. looking for fun things to put on your pizza? Peanut butter? Peanut butter on your pizza. Mayonnaise? No. <laughs> the oven is ready for our pizzas. This will be our first time for doing them together. With I know. With our new baking sheet. Also, we work, I, I usually work out in the morning. Steven prefers to work out in the evening. But the weird thing is now I'm like kind of sweaty and gross and I want to shower. But also we're going to go in the jacuzzi in like an hour. But then I don't want to get sweat in the jacuzzi. So I should shower before I go in the jacuzzi. See, this is too much cheese. It's, like it's a lot. One for you. One for Bella. One for me. One for Bruiser. One for the house, <laughs> one for the car, and one for the other car. <gasps> and one for the hot tub. It's <gasps> Hot tub? Did you just say hot tub? I love when I catch you saying hot tub. The internet has been influencing me negatively. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Alright, I'm gonna go off in the shower and then we'll enjoy our pizza, jacuzzi, and some sort of movie or The Office. We'll see. Ta-da! Look at those zaws. They look delish. Zaws? Yeah. Pizza. All right, let's take these guys yeah, your out. Guy, yours are done. Mine looks delish. Delicious. Oh, I'm so excited. Those look so good. All right, well, the time has come. We have to decide what we're going to watch while we eat. The Office. You don't want to watch a movie? Or movie after the jacuzzi. Okay, let's watch an episode of The Office while we eat, because I'd rather go in the spa sooner rather than later. Yeah. We'll turn on the spa in like an hour, because yeah. it's about 8 o'clock right now. After we get out of the spa, we can either have individual video game time, or we can watch a movie together. Sounds good. Love you. Love you. Oh, also, update I just thought about as Steven cuts his pizza. I don't feel sick at all. Um, no? I don't, no. I think it was a throat thing in the morning, because it is so dry. I mean, I'm still going to like take the highest precautions, but I don't think I'm getting sick. I think it was maybe just like the dryness and the heat. So that's a good sign. I'm happy about that. I was getting a little nervous. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. I'm so excited. I, I was, I saw this swimsuit in my drawer and I was like, why do I never wear this? This is so cute. And then I put it on. I was like, oh yeah. Cause it like smushes my boobs <laughs> and it's like super cheeky and it's just, it's kind of see-through and it's just, I, that's why I don't wear this, but it's just us in the jacuzzi. So, and everyone watching, <laughs> let's go. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog before we go out into the jacuzzi. So I don't have to worry about bringing the camera with me and getting it all wet. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, did you give me a white claw? White claw and an IPA. Thank you. Cheers. They, oh, that was a bad cheers. There we go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you in the next one.